Okay. Mother Nature stopped the rain so we could have our walk. She's been doing that for as long as I can remember for me. And now I know she's involved in God and angels and spirits and all that. <clears throat> anyway, here we are, walking in the dry after it rained during the night. And it'll probably rain after I get back. But it usually happens. See the water? A lot of water. Must have rained a lot. <clears throat> anyway, I think a cool thing happened. Yesterday I was supposed to go get a bike, but man, I just I just didn't want to do it. I just was having that feeling, and I think that's how God's trying to, you know, if I should do a bike or whatever. It was like a sinking feeling, <clears throat> and that's cool if I can get that and <clears throat> count on it because the pendulum, I'm not getting consistent readings. <clears throat> when you do the arm testing thing, kinesthesiology, that's to me, that's the same as using a pendulum. And uh, I know the arm testing thing can be really, really, really accurate, but it can only tell you what's happening right now or previous it cannot tell anything future and i'm starting to think that pendulum and tarot and stuff like that when they tell you future stuff it's it may happen it may not you know what i mean they're even just telling you probably puts a kink in it but, you know changes the, the future of it god dang it cooper you're so nuts come on Anyway, anyway, I didn't want to go, so the guy, uh, it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I hate doing that in the afternoon, I'm a morning person. Anyway, finally, he goes, I can't make it, da -da -da, can we do it tomorrow? And I went, yeah, thank God. So he canceled, and we were supposed to do it today. And uh, he's an hour and a half away from me, which is fine. But uh, then I know today he's, he pulled the ad. So he's either pulled the ad for me, or he's pulled it because he sold it last night, which to me, that prayer that I do, uh, part of the prayer is keep people away from us that would cause us negativity. Adi, Adi. Want some cheese? And uh, many times I'd be on the way to get a bike or something will happen like this, and it'll stop me from buying it. And uh so when that happen, happens, I usually, it's just like, I can see God's hand in it. He's keeping people away from us who could cause us negativity. Okay, so, uh, if he's, if he, either way, if he pulled the ad for me, I win. If he pulled it because God's protecting me, I win. You're going to win no matter, that's another thing about the pendulum and such because you can ask it it's all in how you ask well, you didn't eat that all in how you ask the question like you can say is this a good idea for me to buy this bike <coughs> and it'll go yeah and so you buy the bike and it blows up and it's all this trouble and it's a pain in the ass and blah, 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 blah. but when the end of it comes and you finally move the bike on down the road maybe even losing money you learn stuff you learn lessons and Pendulum wants you to learn lessons because that's why you're here. So you got to be uh, real careful on that shit. You got to be careful what you ask for, you know. Uh, like you know, hey God, show me, help me lose weight. So then you get you know cancer or something. Or cancel, 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 cancel. This is for teaching purposes, God. I'm just teaching people. Keep your mouth shut. Much better. You just listen to that still small voice inside of you because uh, then you, you know you have to get cancer or lose all the weight and then God will have to heal you and you go well that's kind of a rough way to lose weight but if you just listen to that still small voice inside you instead uh, when you're reaching for the ice cream you could say uh, don't do that and you could go okay and then you just lose weight the easy way listening listen see do lsd listen see do like jesus said i only do what i see my father do i only say 
what I hear my father say, which is one accomplishment. Cooper, Coop, what are you doing? Coop, 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 Coop. Uh, so that's how Jesus rolled. He, God would send him pictures, you know, like if you think, where, where are my car keys? And uh, you see a picture of a nightstand with your keys on it. That's, he sends the pictures. I think that's probably mostly how the Holy Spirit communicates with us is through pictures. I think dogs and cats and animals work through pictures. Like if you're trying to tell your dog something, picture what you're trying to tell him, and he picks up on the picture. I don't know, that's a side note there. Uh, I heard that from some of that psychic. Uh, but anyway, and then, and then the other way is this you just get the feeling or I mean you don't really you don't really hear a voice I don't hear anyway don't eat the ice cream you know it's more of a uh yeah and you know a feeling or something I don't know and then he does speak out loud uh where most I pretty much only you would hear it I guess uh, I guess it could speak loud where everybody in the room could hear it. Uh, but uh, it's like that bike last week that I had already bought. And I got about a quarter mile down the road, and somehow he communicated to me check the miles. I stopped in the middle of the road, checked miles, it was way wrong. Called the guy, he was still there. Gave me my money back, gave him the bike back. Holy crap, holy crap. Now, he, God must have been trying to get a hold of me the entire day to tell me to check the miles. In fact, I think I even had a list written down. Uh, but I don't, usual, as usual, I don't forget to check the list. But uh, uh, I don't, looking back on that moment when I thought about checking the miles, I don't think I heard a voice. I don't, I don't know what it was. I just got the idea. Bing! Checked miles. And it was so strong that I literally stopped in the middle of the road. Pulled over to, you know, to the edge and just stopped right there in the road. And got out and checked it. It wasn't it was a country road. It wasn't busy. But, uh, so, at least he got through in time. Let's put it that way. And I went back and tried to analyze you know, if he told me earlier, or I think I actually made a list, so that was, you know, that was probably him working there. So I don't know. Just the idea, the object is figure out how to hear God. Wow, that was loud. When he speaks. Cooper. So anyway, I came out here about 6.10. It's about 70 degrees. Cooper. Coop. Uh, there's some southern gold right there. See that Tahoe? People are shit back crazy about those Tahoes here. That, that thing could have 300,000 miles on it and still bring 10 to 15 grand. Hello. You want some cheesy cheese? My black tongue friend. How is Cooper staying fat, Oliver? You guys don't eat anything. I don't understand it. I got, to, got, to, got him to quit eating the cat poop. Uh, I make them, like yesterday, I took Taco Bell tacos and busted them up. And then neither one of them, maybe a bite or two, and that was it. They, they didn't eat it. I put it up. After a while, I put it up. And they just they wouldn't eat it. Yet, yet, poopy doopy. God bless, how does that dog disappear like that? Jesus, Cooper, you are amazing. Yet he stays... 
I got some weight off of them. So. Anyway, I just listen to the spirit and it'll help me just poop it. Get the weight off of them. Okay, and that's me. Take my own medicine. But as far as the other words I spoke, cancel, cancel, cancel. In the name of Jesus, cancel. In Jesus' name. All right, have a good day.